Good morning. I promised you a follow-up on this uh, patient who had come to see us. She had been treated previously before with scleral therapy, but the mm -hmm. condition of her legs were um, not improved. As you notice, uh, this is her before picture. She had these huge bulging varicose veins. She's had, uh, she's been dealing with a skin ulceration for years, and she came to uh, see us to uh, see what treatment we recommended. So last week, we had uh, worked her up and we treated her with just an EVLT or an ablation of the right great saphenous vein, and I started some uh, endovenous chemical ablation or ECA below the knee. So she's following up, she's a little sore, she had a really big vein, but I'm gonna show you her leg. She still has her ulceration, but that's gonna start healing up now for good. So this is her leg after her procedure. As you'll notice, she has a little bit of bruising up here in the thigh, that was normal. Her vein came up close to the skin about the mid thigh, and it's also a very, very big vein, so I wanted to make sure it was close, so I applied a, a maximum amount of thermal energy at that point. So that's, that's the little points where we accessed her vein. If we come down now, what you're seeing here is she had been treated previously with sclerotherapy and the physician had left some of the uh, dead blood under the skin and it's created this staining. We call this post ec strain. It comes from the iron in the blood. So we're gonna actually take a little bit of this out for her today because uh, she's so nice. Now down here at the bottom of her leg where she has, first you'll see that her leg when I saw her last week, and you look at our Snapchat, Vein SOS, was red. It was just beefy red, this entire leg. So down here, things have gotten better. She still has her ulceration, but this is gonna start healing, and we're gonna complete her treatment by getting rid of the veins that are still located down here on the distal ankle. So when this is all done, this ulceration should heal up, and uh, more than better, it shouldn't come back. So uh, let's see here. We're gonna just do what we call a uh, IND. We're just gonna numb this skin up a little tiny bit and we're gonna see if we can squeeze out some of this little dead blood because this uh, area has been bothering her quite a bit.